Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and this video is a complete tutorial on Bitrix24. Bitrix24 is one of the best CRMs on the market right now, and this video is going to contain everything that you need to know when using Bitrix for the first time. If you do not yet have a Bitrix account, and you would like to claim a free trial, you can do so using the first link down in the description. Once you click on that link, you will be taken over to this page right here. Now, to start your free trial with Bitrix, all we have to do is click on start for free in this top right corner, and then we can create an account with either an email, Facebook, Google, Apple, or all of these options right here. Once you have created your account, it's then going to ask you to select your most used items. So you can select if you are mostly going to use Bitrix as a CRM, a project management tool, collaboration for your team, or to build websites. For me, because this is an entire tutorial, I'm just going to click I will decide later. This is going to take us over to the main Bitrix screen. And the first thing that we have here is the feed section. So in the feed section, this is where you and your team can communicate, you can make different posts, you can comment on posts, and this is the main hub where you and your team can communicate with each other. We can see that by default, I have a post that has been created right here, and my team can come down, they can like this, we can comment on this, they can unfollow or follow, and if we want to create a new message, we can do so at the top up here. So I just created a quick message right here saying, hey team, everything looking good. And if I was just to go ahead and send this, this is going to load in to this area right here. So we can see I now have this new post on feed. What I can also do is type out a message once again, and we can also choose who is going to get a notification for this. By default, this is set to all employees, everybody you have on your Bitrix team. But we can exit out of this and choose individual people. Now, because I do not yet have anybody invited, this is only going to show me, but all of your employees and team members are going to show up here. So you can select who you want to send this to, and then you can send this message. We also have a few different options for what we want to do here. For example, we can attach files and upload files from computer. We can create a document and attach this. We can mention certain people and this is going to give them a notification specifically when you put an at and then type the message. We also have a quote, we can add tags and then we can record a video right here and upload this to the message. Other than messages, we can also create tasks. So if I was to go ahead and create a task and have this as plan YouTube video, we can once again go ahead and type out some information about this tag people, do whatever we need to do. Down here, we can add a responsible person, whoever is in charge of this. And then we can also add a deadline right here. Going further down, we can open up this more section and add in more information, such as a project, if we would like to tag this to a project, add time tracking to this, if this is a repeated task. But for now, I'm going to keep this nice and simple hit send right here, and that is going to create a task. We can also set events. So if you wanted to add a meeting right here, you could just add like a meeting, set the time, the calendar that this is on, if this repeats, the attendees that want to be attending this, and everything like that, we can add a meeting right there. And finally, we can add a poll. However, this is going to cost extra and you do need to upgrade for this. Down here on the right hand side of this main feed screen, we have tasks that is going to show you how many tasks you have ongoing, how many you are assisting with, set by you, and then following. We also have popular posts that show up right here. And then over here, you can download the desktop and mobile application. Up in the top right corner, this is where you can invite people to your team. So if I click in to invite a particular user, we are then going to get this link. So all we need to do is copy this link and then you can create an email for your team, send it out to your team. And then if I open a new tab, I just clicked on that link. I can then go through as a team member, create my Bitrex account, and then we can join this workspace that we just created. So just like that, this new employee has been added. 
this has been updated to feed and that is how you can add new employees to your Bittrex team. You can also see this is going to send out notifications. If we click into all of these different areas, these are going to clear. So that leads us perfectly into this next section, which is chat and calls. This is essentially a messaging service where you can video call your team straight from within Bittrex. You can type a message right here. So let's say I want to message my employee and say, hey, how is it going? I can then send this. And then on my employee's account right here, they will receive a notification. And as we can see, that message just popped in right there. Next, we have calendar, and this is where you can use this calendar feature to plan out your day, plan out your team's workflow, and everything like that. So you can just use the default calendar. Right here, we have the plan YouTube video task that I created at the start. So I just deleted this, and then we can add in new tasks. So let's say that every Friday, we want to have a team meeting. We can click into Friday, and then let's call this event team meeting. We can change the date and the time. So right now this is a Friday, perfect. But let's set this to later on at 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. We can then choose a location where this is held. So let's say that this is on Zoom. We can enter Zoom in here. And then if we go to the full editor, this is where we can get full access and choose this to repeat. So as this is a team meeting, I want this to repeat every Friday. We can also add attendees. So who will be attending this meeting? And I'm just going to go ahead and add the other employee that I invited a minute ago. From here, we can click on more if we want to, update things like the event color. We can add a description, set the availability for our team members during this time, and then choose whether this is private. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then by default on every Friday, because we set this to recurring, this is now a recurring task. We can also set one-off tasks. For example, let's say we have a sales call with Tom. We can set the date. So let's say this is Wednesday the 14th. This is scheduled at 10 and will likely last till 10.30. Once again, we can go into the full editor if we want more editing permissions. Change the color up here, click on create, and that is now scheduled in. So that is how you can use the calendar area we can also flick this between a weekly view, a daily view, and a monthly view, but this is pretty self-explanatory and a very easy to use section. Next, we are going to go into tasks and projects, and this is where you can use Bittrex as a project management tool. So let's go ahead and create a new task. We can enter a task name. So let's say create, create new Facebook ads. We can then type in a description right here about the Facebook ads. Add a responsible person. So who is in charge of this? We can also add a deadline. Let's say I want this done by Monday. And then we can open up this drop down menu to choose a project that we want to add this to, whether this is time tracked, a repeated task and everything like that. We can also, and this is a pretty cool feature, we can add a checklist and in this way, we can tell ourselves or our team exactly how we want this done. So I can start adding in some sub items right here. So in here, the checklist, I said, create 10 image ad creatives, create 10 video ad creatives, test campaigns with a $100 per day ad spend, cut losers and scale winners. And then as our team clicks into this, let me just show you once I add this task. This is going to show up right here. So we can see under tasks, we have create new Facebook ads. Then we can click into this checklist area, go through and check this off as we do all of this. And then just like that, we now have all of those checked off. We can also move this view over to deadline where we can see this sorted by different deadlines. So for example, create new Facebook ads is due next week. If I go ahead and create a new task, and let's just call this call Tom. Let's set the deadline to today and create this task. If we now go over to the deadline, of course, this is going to show up under the due today area. We can also flick over to the calendar view. And of course, this is going to open up a calendar and show us the deadline for all of these particular tasks. 
But this is a very nice screen to use as you can create tasks, you can choose when these are active, set a deadline and then choose who is in charge of this task so they know exactly what to do. Next, we can go over to the CRM right here. And in the CRM, this is where we can manage different deals in the sales pipeline. Now, before we go ahead and start creating deals here, we first of all want to go into customers and click into contacts. So this is where you can add any contacts or any leads that you have and you want to add into your CRM. In here, I can create a contact and enter in all of the information about this contact. So let's say that this is Mr. Colton and first name James. We can also add an image, their date of birth, position, all of this information we can add in here, including an email. So let's say this is james at example.com. We can also add a website, their Facebook Messenger link, the company that they work for, address and any information like this. Now let's go ahead and click on save. And that is going to add the contact right there. Over on the right hand side, this is where we can get a more detailed view into any activity that has happened with this contact. We can leave a comment right here. So in here, I can say James is likely to close. Make sure to follow up. I can then send this. And this is only going to be shown to my team. This will not be sent to James. Now, because I have added this comment, this is new activity. So it's also going to show up in the activity section. We can go along to tasks and make a task specific to James. And once we do this, this is of course going to show up in the task area that we talked about earlier. All of the contacts that you add are going to show up right here in this list section. So now that we have a contact, let's go ahead and create a new deal. Let's add James into new and say that James is interested in a mentorship program. We can then add the deal value right here. Let's say this is $10,000. Then we can choose the contact, which is of course going to be James. We just added him here. But when you start adding more contacts, you might want to search them by name, just like this. And then we can add them in. We can also add a phone number, any other information about this. But let's just click on save. And then using this deal section, this is where we can track all of the deals where they are in the pipeline using this drag and drop feature right here. So I can move James into invoice, then we can move him into in progress and move this through all of these different sections as the deal progresses. Now up here at the top, these are currently set to new, create paper, invoice. I don't really like the way that these are set. So instead, we can click into this pencil icon and edit all of these. Let's say in this example, I want to set up a sales pipeline for my marketing agency. So we can say discovery call. Then this second section, we can change to a sales call. Then we can keep this as invoice. Perfect. Delete this section right here. Now all of this is saved. So actually this deal doesn't really make sense. If we want to delete this, we can just drag and drop over this. Then we can either delete this deal, drag it into deal lost, analyze failure or deal one. So let's delete this for now. Then we can add in a new deal and say this is a pet, pet shop. Just as an example, say that they are interested with the marketing agency. Then let's set this to 5k. Add a contact right here. We will just go for James again. And then as this entire sales process unfolds, so we've had the discovery call, we are happy with them. We then go to the sales call, they are interested. We send the invoice, go to final invoice, and then they pay this. We can then move this into deal one. And that is how you can use this deals area. So that is my step-by-step -step tutorial on Bitrix24. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.